is Mitra and with this video I start a new YouTube channel devoted to USSR photo equipment. First of all, a small disclaimer. English is not native language for me, so I can make mistakes, especially in technical words. I ask you not to pay too much attention to it. So I am fond of USSR photo cameras. You can find me also at eBay, where I have the same nickname Mitra, and there I sell cameras, lenses, flashes, filters, and etc. Unfortunately, cameras from the former Soviet Union are not well known at the West, and it's a pity because that is really an epoch. Soviet cameras were very numerous, very interesting, not always original, but very honest and reliable. Today, in 21st century, these cameras, cameras can be used for display or for taking pictures for filming. They are very honest and very reliable. So, topic of my first video is so different M39 mount. So, I sell lenses. Unfortunately, there are complaints very often about lenses with M39 mount. Lenses do not fit cameras, do not fit adapters and do not work. The fact is that Soviet Union produced several M39 mounts which are not interchangeable with each other. In this video I'll tell you how to distinguish these mounts to avoid misunderstanding and disappointment. So M39 number 1 is like a thread mount. In 1934, Soviet Union started to produce rangefinder camera FAT, which was the full copy of German Leica II. On the picture you can see original Leica from the left and FAT from the right. This was done by a labor commune founded and ruled by a famous Soviet teacher Anton Makarenko. It's difficult to believe, but this commune consisted of former homeless children, orphans lost their parents and homes, and young criminals, and these children copied Leica. The name FAT consisted of first letters of name of a famous Soviet revolutionary Felix Edmundovich Dzerzhinsky. He founded Soviet secret service, later known as KGB, and now it is called FSB. So Leica was copied one-on-one. -on -one. And of course, the mount was copied too. The mount was described in Soviet state standard or GOST and named M39 in 1/28,8. What does that mean? M39 means that the diameter of the mount is 39 mm. 1 is thread pitch, 1 mm. And 28 Comma 8 is a flange focal distance. In simple words, this is a distance between the lens and the film, or a digital matrix. Lens is calculated to focus the image at this distance. This distance is constant and cannot be changed. If you put a proper lens on the proper camera, then the mount will provide right flange focal distance. So, in Leica thread mount, it's 28,8 mm. This mount became standard for the majority of USSR rangefinder cameras. Here is the full list of serial, I mean mass-produced rangefinders, which were made by three plants – FAT, KMZ and LOMO. All these cameras have fully interchangeable mount. These cameras were very popular in USSR. Cheap, easy to use, reliable, they became witnesses of millions of events and everyday life. Also, there was lack, I mean shortage, of any cameras, so they were used during many years. No one was surprised to see FAT, which was half a century old, in the hands of a young photographer. So new models didn't replace old ones, but they coexisted. So, let's speak about M39 number 2, which is for SLR cameras. Before Second World War, FAT was produced by only one plant. Between 1934 and 1941, approximately 175,000 cameras were done. What is 
absolutely not enough for a country with 200 million population. So, after victory, it was decided to engage new plants in camera production. One of such new plants was Krasnogorsky Mechanical Plant. It was located in Krasnogorsk, a small town to the northwest from Moscow. It was founded in 1942 as a plant for production of military optics. During Second World War, it produced more than 400,000 stereoscopic telescopes, sight for artillery cannons, howitzers, tanks, mortars, and aerial cameras. Today, it is the main optics supplier for Russian army. It produces full range of military optics, starting from rifle scopes and ending space satellites for the cameras. Also, it produces medical, optical equipment, so everything connected with optics. Already in 1946, Plant copied German camera Zeiss Ikonta under the name Moscow. Also, Fat Plant gave technical documentation for Fat Camera to KMZ, and since 1948 they started to produce copy of Fat, which was in turn copy of Leica, under the name Zorki. Zorki can be translated into English as sharp sighted. But the engineers at KMZ were very experienced and ambitious. During the Second World War, they gained a vast experience of producing various optical systems and didn't want to copy cameras designed by the others. KMZ developed FAT camera greatly, introducing Zorki C with sensor contact, Zorki 2 with self-timer and so on. So with each step, camera evolved far from original Leica, giving a birth to a large Zorki family. But they dreamed about original SLR. And in 1952, the first SLR camera made by KMZ was introduced. Zenith. It was based on Zorki rangefinder. In the rangefinder, light reflected by the object goes through the lens directly to the film. Shutter before the film is not shown on that scheme. Viewfinder is not connected with light channel from lens to film, so it can be used to estimate the borders of future frame and to focus approximately. So, the photographer does not know for sure how the image will look like. On the contrary, in SLR camera, light is reflected by a mirror that is between lens and film. Shutter is not shown here too. Then light goes to pentaprism and then to a viewfinder. What you see is what you get, so a photographer can watch how the image will look like and can change settings before taking a picture. When pushing the release button, mirror goes up and reveals the film. But the mirror needs space to be placed in, so comparing with the rangefinder, flange focal distance was increased up to 45,2 mm. But the diameter of the mount remained the same, 39 mm. Thread pitch was also the same, 1 mm. That was done in economy purposes. The same equipment was used to produce both SLR and rangefinder cameras. So, a very interesting situation took place. Simultaneously, there were produced two camera systems and two lenses lines with the same mount M39. Any of the lens can be mounted to any camera, but it will work only at the proper one. The most funny is that the system was not marked at the lens in any way. Look at the picture. There is Industar 50 lenses. These lenses look similar with the same inscriptions. Industar 50, lens speed, focal distance, KMZ logo and serial number. Can you guess what lens is for rangefinder? In fact, from the left is for rangefinder and from the right is for SLR. One more example. Jupiter 11 lens. From the left is for rangefinder and from the right is for SLR. Peter 9. And again, from the left is for rangefinder and from the right is for SLR. The number of cameras with this mount was not great. Let's watch all of them. They are Zenith, Zenith C, Zenith 3, Zenith 3M, Crystal, Early Zenith E and Early Zenith B. Life 
of M39 mount for SLR was not long. Small diameter didn't allow to create high-speed lenses, and the mount could hardly hold heavy lenses. Constant complaints from photographers on confusion with mounts played a great role too. So, in 1967, SLR got a new mount M42. M39 number 3 is for scale focus cameras Chaika. In 1957, Minsky Mechanical Plant was founded in Minsk, capital of Belarusian Soviet Socialistic Republic. This plant took a niche of making very simple scale focused cameras. These cameras were designed for beginners and were extremely cheap and easy to use. Focusing was done with a distance scale. Plant made Vilia cameras family, Elikon family, Agat, Vesna and Chaika family. The first Chaika had non-removable lens. But Chaika 2, Chaika 2M and Chaika 3 had removable lens in Dustar 69 with M39 in 1 slash 27,5 mm mount. So, if it is set on any other cameras, except Chaika, it will not work. It's difficult to explain why engineers created scale focus camera with removable lens with unique mount. Probably other lenses were planned, but Industar 69 remained the only lens with that mount. So it's very easy. Chaika can't have any other lens except Industar 69 and vice versa. This lens can be mounted to Chaika only. We have watched all M39 Russian mounts. If you want to buy a lens, camera, adapter, marker rings, please take compatibility into consideration. Make sure that all components are designed for each other to avoid disappointment and misunderstanding. You can ask me e here or at eBay and I'll be happy to answer your questions. I will be pleased if you write a comment or give me a like. In any case, I advise you to try Soviet camera, which will bring you a lot of joy. Thank you.